hey guys god bless you god bless you um uh, so i have a word from the lord amen glory to god hallelujah <clears throat> my eyes are really puffy i've been very emotional um the lord's been speaking many things to me i have many things to talk to you guys about but i'm gonna go by the spirit of god and what he's given me in the moment amen and i'm going to read in luke 9 chapter 9 verses 22 and 23 and 24 amen and it says in the name of the father son and the holy spirit and it says saying the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day and he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it amen so we see here, see here <clears throat> jesus is telling the disciples he's telling them, the son of man must suffer many many things and be rejected right they, jesus is going to be rejected he spoke to them about this stuff that he was going to suffer he was going to be rejected he was going to suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be slain right and be raised on the third day so he spoke to them about all the stuff that was going to happen to him amen that he's going to be suffering amen <clears throat> glory to god so we are going to suffer amen if jesus suffered we are going to suffer like jesus suffered amen what makes us think that we are not going to suffer? Amen. Jesus died for us. Yes, he is our God. And we are going to also go through what Jesus went through. Amen. Glory to God. Just like how uh, the devil came and tempted Jesus. Amen. I think it's in chapter 4. Um, when he came in, he, he was tempted in the wilderness. Amen. Right after he was um, baptized um, in the water, right? And he came up and then he was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness and was tempted by Satan. Amen. Glory to God. What makes us think that we're not going to be tempted? What makes us think that we're not going to suffer? Amen. But he was letting them see. He was getting them prepared so that they can see everything God did, everything Jesus did when he was here was to prepare us for the future, to prepare us for what we're going to be going through. Everything is to learn. Everything was a learning experience. Amen. They walk closely with Jesus to see, amen, that they were going to suffer. They were going to be slain. They were going to have these things happen to them as Jesus. Amen. Nothing makes us, um, um, what do you call it? We are not going to get away with not suffering, being a servant of God. Amen. We're going to suffer. We're going to suffer. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it said that, and he said to them, okay, this is Jesus' words here. We need to pay attention to what Jesus speaks. Amen. And he said, if any man will come after me, will come after me, if you are willing to come after Jesus Christ, if you are willing to come after him, amen, to follow him, let him deny himself, deny himself, amen, and when you deny yourself, that means you deny everything of yourself, everything that you desire, everything that you love, everything that you had before you found Jesus Christ, you die to yourself and you become brand new with Christ, right, you become new, amen, you deny who you are to walk with Christ, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, if you put anyone before Christ, you are not worthy of Christ, amen, glory to God, and it says, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. 
this really touched me last night this came to me in my praying last night because we suffer so much and it is so hard to carry the cross sometimes sometimes the cross may feel so so heavy and it's so hard to carry your cross the cross is everything that you're going through the cross is all the mocking all all the looks and all the things that the people are saying to you all the all the things that they're throwing at you all the stones that they're trying to bash you with hallelujah and throw you off guard throw you off the path that christ has set you for hallelujah i don't know who needs to hear this but i feel it so deeply in my spirit it is embedded in me so deeply that someone needs to hear to hold on to that cross it is so heavy it is so heavy but the cross is so heavy and it needs to be heavy because see jesus carried the cross and it was heavy hallelujah and we have to cr- carry our cross as well and it's gonna be heavy and it's gonna have burdens and it's gonna have suffering and it's gonna have oh so many things hallelujah so many things that you're gonna have to carry hallelujah all the pain and all the suffering and all the things that you're gonna go through for Christ's sake hallelujah glory to God all the things that you are carrying hallelujah the path is narrow it is not going to be easy the path is narrow it is tight it is enough for one person to get through that's how tight and how hard and restricted it is going to be and how hard it is to stay on on track on that path hallelujah because it is extremely hard hallelujah you must endure until the end jesus says hallelujah glory to god hallelujah you will be saved if you endure until the end glory to god hallelujah we must pick up our cross and we must walk forward and endure endure the mocking endure endure everything that they they try to throw at us endure what they say that what you were thinking and what you were believing what the lord is speaking is not true do not believe them believe in what christ has placed within you believe what christ has said about you believe what christ is speaking to your heart and into your mind that you know is in the word of god hallelujah that he spoke believe what he is speaking about you today believe where he is taking you believe even when the path is seems restricted and it seems like you just can't do it no more that is when you push through when you feel like putting the cross down for a second because you cannot breathe that is when you keep pushing through you do not put the cross down because jesus did not put the cross down for us he did not lay that cross down he put that cross on his arm and he carried it hallelujah to calvary and he died for us if we have to carry our cross until they slay us until they try to quiet us until they persecute us and that's what we must do glory to god and he says for whosoever will save his life whosoever will save his life hallelujah it is time for the christians to pick up their cross and stop playing hallelujah with god hallelujah you cannot play with the god hallelujah you must pick up your cross hallelujah we must pick up our cross daily hallelujah this is not an easy road and he never promised it was going to be easy if anything the bible says we are going to suffer for christ's sake hallelujah if christ suffered 
we are going to suffer. So let's pick up our cross, hallelujah, and let's walk for the Lord Jesus.